Hello and welcome to The John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Car Prices Are Collapsing. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Are you in the market for a new or used car? If so, we predict that car prices will drop very dramatically soon. In fact, we're seeing the early signs of it already. Why is that, you ask? Well, there are a number of reasons. First of all, the new car prices were so high that people decided they didn't need to spend forty or fifty thousand dollars over the manufacturer's suggested price to get a new car. So they decided, well, we'll get a used car instead. Then people noticed that the interest rates on car loans went crazy, so they pulled back from the used car markets as well. Now there are two categories of used car prices if you're in the market for one. If you go to a car dealership, then you'll see that these used car prices uh, at the dealerships are noticeably higher than the used car prices you may find when you're trying to buy from some individual on Craigslist or some other online uh, marketplace. When you uh, buy a used car from someone, you really have to know what you're doing because uh, you need to make sure the car you're buying isn't stolen or hasn't been in three or four wrecks over the last 10 years. Uh, you should have that vehicle checked by a mechanic to see if it's okay. You should check the car facts for that vehicle. You might even want to take it to a local police station and ask them to check if it's been stolen. Uh, just know that one of the reasons people purchase used cars from dealers is because it gives them a level of elevated security, noting that the car and the transaction may be a bit more legitimate uh, when they purchase it from an actual dealer at a physical location. Now, before I continue, I have to tell you something else. I'm not a big uh, fan of, of these new car companies that are popping up uh, that don't actually have a brick and mortar location. They're, they just claim that they'll sell you the vehicle online and then deliver it to your home and you have X number of days to, uh, to deliver it. What we're hearing is that uh, uh, some of these sleazy companies, not all of them, but some of them, what they're doing is they'll, they'll say you have X number of days to return it. So I'll, I'll just pick a number at random. So let's just say 10 days. And they say you can return it within 10 days. Just contact us. But what they don't tell the customer in many instances is that the clock doesn't start ticking when they deliver the vehicle the clock starts ticking when they uh, receive your order online. So, you know, if the car is in California and you're in New York and uh, it takes, uh, it takes uh, seven or eight days to, to ship your car to your front door, then in some instances you may only have two days to return the car, two out of the ten, because uh, the previous seven or eight days were consumed uh, getting the car to you. And a lot of people don't realize this. So then they get, uh, they get jammed up and, and they make a decision outside the return uh, window. And then the company says, sorry, it's too late. We can't take it back. Another thing some of these sleazy companies are doing is they're, they're refusing to ship you the title. Uh, in most states, you have to ship, provide the customer with a title within 30 days. And some of these companies don't provide you the title for 60 or 90 days. They're just sleazy. Now, one advantage you can get from a used car dealer is you can purchase an extended warranty under some circumstances. But I have to warn you, these used car warranties, most of them are complete fraud, complete use, completely useless. Um, they'll, uh, they'll compel you, they'll try to compel you uh, to pay a large portion of the, uh, the repairs that you thought were covered by the warranty and end up not being covered. So why are car prices, both new and used, uh, going to drop so dramatically? Well, for several reasons. A lot of people have depleted their finances, their bank accounts, and they're out of money, and they simply can't afford another new or used car. 
So they're sitting back and waiting as they hope their financial situation or the economy improves. And that puts downward pressure on the, uh, the prices of these new and used vehicles. Fewer, uh, fewer buyers means fewer cars being sold. There's another segment of the population that thinks the situation will improve and maybe prices will get even better. So they don't know if the prices will get better or not in a couple of years, but they're still sitting back and waiting. A lot of what happens in the near future will depend on the politics out there. But if people keep holding back and waiting to see what happens, then we think that the manufacturers and car dealers will then be forced to lower or adjust their prices even more uh, and make them more affordable. Remember, no matter when you purchase a used car, always have a check by a mechanic first to see if it's been damaged or in an accident. Nothing can destroy a deal you thought was a good deal faster than buying a used car today and then finding out six months from now it's a complete piece of junk because it's been in a lot of accidents. Used cars are only great deals if they've never been in an accident and your mechanic clears them and tells you that they're in good shape. So be careful and cautious and take your time. Don't rush. Never rush to buy a used car. It may take a month or two or three to find a good one but it'll be worth the wait if you put in the energy and time. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great uh, celebrity interviews coming up, so uh, make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.